What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Michael Ray Haybauer, coming to you with a a sit and talk video. Uh, you guys are going to get a few more of these in the future because um, due to my health and some other situations in life, sometimes I just don't want to get on the computer and I don't have the option to edit. My computer ain't the best. Long story short, I'm just going to sit here sometimes and talk to you guys. And I hope you like it and you understand it. First off, I just wanted to say, please consider becoming a member on this channel for exclusive content, hidden content. For when I go live, you guys can chat with me in the replays. You can even go live with me in a video. When I go live, I'll post a link to join the video stream with me if you are a member to this channel. The $2 gets you a membership, helps support me. I'm trying to make a living out of this YouTube thing because this is all I got. I'm just being honest, I'm just being real, I'm just being me. Please hit that like, that subscribe button if you like what you're watching. Consider giving me thanks and um, supporting me. And I do have merchandise below. Uh, there is a store link account for merchandise associated with me and my career. And I do have cameos available where you also get a free autographed picture from me. You can also buy an autographed picture from the merch store down below. All right, let's get started. So... I've been posting a few more videos on this channel recently than normal because I'm trying to learn the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to learn how much possible money I can make per video with 1,000, 2,000 views and, and, and whatever. Basically, I'm trying to make a living or trying to make a few bucks off of this YouTube thing because I don't have a regular job and I'm never going to have one because this is my life. And in today's video, we're going to talk about criticism and how to handle it and not handle it. And because I'm going through it right now mentally. And I wanted to let you guys a little bit into my feelings and how I try to avoid it or the pain or how do I, how do I try to create through what I call critique. Uh, so I've made some videos recently and then you know, I get some feedback, you know, telling me I'm, I'm, I'm overweight, I shouldn't eat that type of food, that's why I'm unhealthy. You know, like, a lot of the, the comments that none of us want to hear, okay? People say, well, I'm just giving feedback, you know. That's fine. Critique is fine. I am a public personality, so I have to accept that. Albeit, people don't sometimes think... Or be empathetic toward the person they're watching. When they see cringe. Or if I make a mistake. Or I say something weird. Or if I do something wrong. They're just boom, 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 boom. Hey, this is what you should have said. Or you're stupid for thinking of conspiracies. It's like, have some empathy for the other person. Try to. That's the best way. Stop and think. Should I say this? Will this help their life in any way? I already think they're cringy, they're stupid, they're fat, and they're not leading their life a good way. But what I'm about to say, will it help them in any way or will it possibly just put them in a negative space? I would hope and pray and wish that people would think before they post something that can actually be negative to another human being. I'm an insecure person. I know who I am. I am over 40 years of age and I am who I am and I, I understand a lot about me personally. Okay, I might not be able to speak it publicly and professionally at all times and explain who I am or what the thoughts in my head are. I might not be able to publicly say it the way I'm thinking of it because that's my, my vocabulary is not the best. But I guarantee you all, I have an overactive brain, a very, a very sensitive brain, sensitive body and everything. I am very, I consider myself intelligent on a lot of subjects. Of course, I'm stupid in a lot of other subjects, just like everybody in and out. And I am a very smart, methodical man. I just can't speak it out personally all the time or publicly and... I come off as the, you know, the loud one, talks too much, uh, the crazy one, because I get excited when I go out or when I talk in videos sometimes, and I'm just excited to be there. 
So a lot of people get the wrong image of me. And, you know, then when they see videos of me eating or doing stuff like that, if it's cringy, again, then they, they, they give me negative feedback. And I know I, I got to learn how to deal with it. Uh, you know, I get upset and then I want to fight back, you know, and then my brain tells me, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But sometimes I do. I go, what? You know, like uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Hey, they're talking crap about you on the internet. What the F is the internet? Hello, you know, Bombshell 34. You called me and Jay and Silent Bob morons. And then they take a plane. Are you Bombshell 52? Yeah. Did you say, you know, I'm an idiot. Jay and Silent Bob need to go to the trash can? Yeah. The funniest video ever. I love it. I love it. It makes so much sense. Uh, but so there's a gentleman and we're going to have this in a future video. I'll have the link down below for you guys to watch. But there's a gentleman that made a salute your shorts retrospective. Um, and he did a good job. He did a really good job. He put a lot of heart and soul to it. His name is Nick Nax. And um, but he had a lot of facts wrong. A lot of actors' names associated with the wrong person. Um, and then, you know, this, he spoke glowingly of my character, um, Donkey Lips, saying I was the best character on the show, the most well-rounded, uh, the most with heart and everything. And that made me feel really, really good. But then he delved into like what we're doing now or what we're doing in our real life. Then he spoke on me uh, and my content of me talking in videos, trying to make everybody laugh and or eating food, making food, whatever I do in videos. And he said that my content is not good at all. Then he showed a clip of me making a joke about today's reality of wokeness, like can you even, you know, say, uh, Merry Christmas, will that offend somebody? Can you say, uh, Happy Hanukkah, you know, will you can be considered anti-Semitic? You know, I, I don't know what those people are called, but the, the people that get, the social justice warriors, everybody that gets offended by everything. Comedy is misunderstood nowadays, um, especially that type of comedy, whether it goes racial or, you know, um, in, to, in terms of their religion or, you know, the color of the skin. I think I already said that. See? Not the best at speaking all the time. But he said my content ain't good. Then he showed a clip of me, you know, making that joke. Like, I don't know in today's world. Can you say Happy Hanukkah? Can you say Merry Christmas? And he presented me in a way to say that I'm stupid and by him saying my content is not, he only said it's not good. Can, I can't explain how much that bothered me. Because I want my content to be good. But I am not like these other YouTubers. I, I don't have a big editing system. I don't have a computer. I I, I mean, I, I have a computer, but it, it, it's not the best for editing. I don't have all the time in the world. I don't have all the health. I don't have all the graphic skills. I don't have a crew to film, I don't have the best cameras, I don't have a lot of money, uh, so I go out and I try to figure out what, if any, type of content I can make, and talking seems to be, right now, like this, is one of the only things I can do, go live, maybe make some food, but I can't really edit that much, uh, and all that, you know, I have a lot of limitations, and I'm not feeling good every day to get content out every day, every hour. It just, I just can't explain. But in my mind, just recently, I made some little, let's call them sex, you know, where I could talk about latest news or conspiracies or, or whatever. And I, and I, I try, I'm trying to make my content better, but it so bothered me when he said that. Because in my mind, I'm doing the best content with what I can, with who I am as a person, beyond all my limitations, my health, my this, my that, and I'm just being me. Those are my type of jokes. Those are my type of corniness. 
That's my type of cringe. And I'm putting in the work. And I haven't been putting in the work for a long time due to all my limitations. So in my mind, I'm putting in a lot of work and doing my best. And then to have somebody say my content is not good because I'm putting in the work and I believe it's good, it crushed me. It crushed me. But that's okay. Let's call it critique. Let's call it criticism. The guy did a fantastic job. He has great content. It, it's better than mine at the moment. And I appreciate that. But I just want to let everybody know that, like, if you can, I know you all can't. But if you can stop and think for one second and think, will a comment like that in a video be negative to that person who's doing his best? I understand critique is critique, and you could say things like, you know, oh, I would like to see a cooking show again, or I would like this or this and that. But when you say your stuff is not good, or your stuff is cringe, or you shouldn't eat that, you shouldn't do that, this is how it's done. You should say it like this. You're stupid. Conspiracies are dumb. You're one of those Trumpers. You're one of those MAGAs. That's like stuff that doesn't need to be said. That's negative, and that, that, that's not helpful in any way. In any way. But how I deal with it the best is I can, is I just think to myself, after I read a comment or I hear something, I just think the Lord has blessed me to get on camera and talk. The Lord has blessed me with the roof over my head. And for every person that... I think gave me a really hurtful or negative feedback that there's at least eight people out there that like me and enjoy me just for talking and just for my jokes and just for my lisp or whatever I have. Because I'm alone a lot. I don't go out much. I don't have a lot of people in my life at the moment and I'm struggling. I need help emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially. I'm just me. And from here on out, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to present me to you guys. Yes, I'm going to have some cringy videos, like the peanut butter and miracle whip video. I do eat that, and I did when I was younger, but I don't really eat it nowadays. But I make those videos because I think they might be popular. They might make people think and talk and be like, oh, that's crazy. Or you should try this food combination. And, you know, maybe it'll get a few, a few good views. Make me a couple of bucks. And, you know, I, I make videos sometimes like that, you know, hoping it'll, it'll, it'll be a spark. It'll be something interesting for a lot of people to watch. Maybe make them cringe, whatever. But if you're actually going to go back and give negative feedback, I just hope you would think, is it good for that person? Is it really necessary? And by them, give, them or whoever giving me negative feedback, how does it help your life in any way to do that? Do, do you feel good about negative stuff? How about give a positive feedback? Critiquing with positivity. Sounds better to me. That's all I know. All right, guys. If there's any other subjects you guys would like me to talk about, today we talked about criticism and how I deal with it and what I think should happen in the future moving forward. We all know this video won't change anything. I'll get more hatred and criticism now for speaking about this. But hey, I am who I am and I can only be me. And hopefully I can get to a pure happy place. Because remember, hate cannot hurt happy. If you're happy, hate cannot hurt you. So let me know if there's any other subjects you guys want me to talk about in a sit down and talk type video. You know, from my perspective. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Look forward to more content from members coming up shortly. And I'm going to start posting some videos that I have 
on my hard drives from the past. Some of them have been uh, taken off YouTube or censored, and I might put some of those vlogs back as well. Ooh, ooh, well, there's a weird burp. That peanut butter miracle whip coming back. Whoa, boy! I love you guys. I'll have some more videos soon. Thank you guys for chiming in. Hit that like button. Please leave a comment down below. And support me. Become a member if you want. I appreciate you. I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon.